ID, check. Boarding pass, check. Phone, check. Snacks, double check. It was about 10.30 on a Tuesday morning. The airport was not too busy. Some people in business suits, some in college sweaters, a family with little ones, a service dog. Regardless, most staring down at their phones at the TSA line. I felt my phone buzzing in my pocket, text messages from my family already. This part was always the hardest because I knew I would see them again, but I never knew how soon. Miss you too. Suddenly, I felt a pair of eyes on me. I looked up from my phone. A woman in her 30s, tall. She stared at me like a deer in headlights. Her young daughter stopped her chirpy chatter mid-sentence, looked up at her mother, and then at me with equally large eyes. I smiled and said hello. I'm not sure how, but their eyes got even bigger. Their looks of shock quickly turned into dismay and then disgust. The mother took hold of her daughter's hand and literally ran away from me, ducking under the retractable belt barriers skipping other people in line, moving with such urgency that others didn't dare question them. I stood there, wondering what had happened. Was there something on my face? Did I smell funny? I mean, I showered this morning, but still. Maybe it was a hockey jersey I was wearing. All I did was smile and say hello. I mean... All I did was smile and say hello. Deep down, I knew why. And had nothing to do with what sports team I was supporting. The last thing I heard the mother say was, we need to wash our hands now. I was saddened. I was hurt. Should I have said something else other than hello? Should I have stood up for myself? But what would I say? Why did I have this intense feeling of shame when I did nothing wrong? Was I the only one facing this? But then I was reminded that some of my fellow humans have to endure this on a daily basis. These kids who are growing up with this pandemic as their backdrop, are we showing them the right way to respond? Poor girl, what would she do if she saw another person like me? Beneath the skin, the hair, the shape of our eyes, aren't our organs all the same? Don't we all have a brain that is capable of making sound decisions and thoughts? A heart that is capable of loving so much more than we care to admit? And a soul that longs to know and be known? A restless five hours later, I landed. My heart was still heavy. I was waiting for my luggage at the baggage claim when I saw a little boy waving goodbye at everyone. As his family started to leave, I thought he had forgotten about me. But then he turned around and smiled and waved one last goodbye. He had one of those smiles that could just melt hearts. That moment, I realized, it wasn't so bad after all. If the mother and daughter were questioned on why they ran away from me, it would be because she smiled and said hello. Super scary, right?